Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you all are great and doing fantastic in your life. My name is Rupa. So today in this video, I'm going to discuss about what are the preclinical testing or preclinical studies or also known as non-clinical testing in pharmaceutical industry. So without wasting any more time, let's just get started. So what are preclinical testings? So what happens is during the very initial phase of drug discovery and development process, scientists shortlist some of the molecules which can become a potential drug candidate. So now to check the effectiveness, safety and efficacy of this drug candidate, they need to test these drug molecule in the laboratory setting and also on the animals. These testings are called preclinical testings. By performing preclinical testing, scientists collect information or you can say a set of data to determine which molecules, which candidates should undergo the next phase of clinical testing. That is the testing on the human body. So understand in this way that whatever the data they uh, get from the preclinical testing, based on that they decide which drug molecule should undergo the next phase of testing that is clinical testing that is testing on the human body. What kind of animals are used in the preclinical testing? There are mainly uh, rabbits, rats and mice are used in the preclinical testing. Why these animals are used? There are some reasons because of which these animals are used. Number one reason is that these animals are very genetically similar to the human body. Other thing is that they are very small in size. That is why they become easily manageable and the handling becomes very much easy. And also they are of very short lifespan. So that is why these uh, animals are used in the preclinical testings. There are mainly two type of preclinical testing, in vitro testing and in vivo testings. In vitro testing is the testing in the laboratory on the organ tissue cells of animals to collect the data of safety efficacy. Other is in vivo testing. In vivo testing is the testing directly on the animal. So the disease is induced into the animals and then the dosage of a drug is given to a particular animal to collect the after effects of the drug on that particular animals. So during the whole procedure of the preclinical testings, some of the drug candidates are rejected and some of the drug candidates are selected to proceed to the further clinical trials. So what kind of information scientists derive from all of these preclinical testing? So mainly scientists guess the information of the pharmacodynamics, pharmacokinetics and the toxicological effect of the drug. So in pharmacokinetics, scientists get the information of drug absorption, drug metabolism, drug excretion, drug distribution. All of these information are get from the preclinical testing. They also get the toxicological information like how much of the dosage is toxic for human body. Also, they get the pharmacodynamics information like the physical chemical properties, stability, solubility, dosage information. So overall, all of these informations are required by the scientists to decide which molecule can have a higher chances of having a potential drug candidate. Drug product manufacturer company has to file the INT application to the FDA to get the approval for further proceeding for a clinical testing. That means to get the clinical testing approval so that they can proceed for the clinical testing, scientist or the drug product manufacturer has to file INT application. I have a separate video on INT application and other type of application as well. You can go and check that out. I will give the link in the description box. So that's it for today. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe my channel and follow for more. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.